Here we have A to Z Mark II. So, slightly zany, Z-A-N-Y. I'm going to begin with the letter A, and I'm going to become a Cockney, and we're going to love Andal. This is the harmonious blacksmith. The Harmonious Blacksmith was the name given after Handel's death, but the legend was that Handel heading off to Dublin to, for the first performance of the Messiah in 1741, stopped, I suppose, for his poor old horse to have his shoes sh sorted out by the blacksmith in England still. On that music you heard two different types of playing. You have the the full sound of this harpsichord by Morley. Um, Morley, it made in the copy of Morley uh, in a house, a factory in London. Now, when I push that little lever to the side, it stops the strings you've heard being struck, being uh, picked, plucked. You will hear a single sound, which is called the lute stop, compared to a more reedy sound. I'm now going to play B for Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach, who knew so much about Handel and Handel about Bach, but sadly they never met. There were several occasions they perhaps could have done, but it never worked out and it seemed that Handel was the one making excuses. But Bach said, if I wasn't Bach, I would like to be Handel. So that shows how great these two composers are. Here for Bach is the Sarabande from his second partita in C minor.
we've come to the letter C. I'm going to interrupt that composition. That is the first movement or part of it of John Cage's 4 minutes 33 seconds and that's its title, 4 minutes 33 seconds. It was a very controversial piece composed in 1952 and premiered on the 29th of August of that year and it is, as he says, uh, an absence of intended sounds. So I'll give you a little bit more of it. And in case you're feeling short-changed, here's C for Chopin, a mazurka in B-flat. for Debussy and I found a wonderful piece, the first published composition which he wrote when he was 18. It is Danse Bohemienne. Two things about it, it actually sounds very Russian because it reminds me of Bar Borodin, Prince Igor dances and the reason is he was in Russia as the resident pianist for the summer with a wealthy family, uh, a widow with her two teenage daughters who required tuition and the widow wished to play duets with the young Claude, very attractive young man, Claude de Debussy. Her name was Nadieska von Weck, and she was well known as the correspondent with Tchaikovsky, the correspondent who never met the other part of this correspondence, but supported him too. So here's the Danse Bohemienne. I'll look round at one point because the particular section in the middle reminds me of Puccini's La Boheme, and it struck me how possible that is, the connection. <laughs>
We've reached E, and I told you it was a zany A to Z. I've chosen Beethoven because he's got three E's in his name. And here is his first piano sonata, the first of 32, written in 1795 when he was 25, so he's well established, and this was one of his visiting cards now he'd moved to Vienna. Here in this sonata in F minor, he shows already the great character of himself. He is pushing rhythm, uh, giving unusual accents. He is just touching the harmony with a particular colour in his brush. Um, unusual, not what we expect, and with vigour and energy all the way through. Dedicated to Haydn. Mm -hmm. 